because there's a lot of times where the people like me are in my situation where we don't have those opportunities, so we gotta take advantage right here, you know? California is stepping up to provide more opportunities for youth to get off the streets. Programs with housing, food, job opportunities, school, basically everything that a person my age needs to become successful. It takes a village. That's why Cal OES is providing funding to organizations that can invest in the future of Californians like Jacob, awarding $38 million in new grants to community-based organizations that work with this vulnerable population. Just providing opportunities for them to continue their life, uh, especially because this is a part in time in their life right now where they're building character, you know, finding out who they are. Additional funding through these state grants allows for more partnerships. More partnerships mean more complete care. In Orange County, for instance, the Homeless Youth Grant was awarded to the Orangewood Foundation that operates off of a connected nonprofit model, meaning the other organizations they are aligned with that are part of their village will also benefit from this funding. It'll provide us more capacity by partnering up with Covenant House uh, and their shelter operation because we don't have any shelter operations at Orangewood Foundation. Our housing is primarily transitional housing. Being able to fill voids in the continuum of care will ensure young Californians experiencing homelessness have the tools, resources, and support to transition to a more stable future. And then partnering up with United Way to help us find those permanent supportive options once they leave the shelter, it's just a, a great combination of all three of us working together to help our young people. And helping these young people starts with putting a roof over their heads. Housing is a big need in this community. So um, the additional funding is going to um, continue like the basic needs, but also add um, the emergency housing component to it. With this funding, local service providers will be able to provide a whole range of housing options, starting with more immediate shelters. Wow, this feels like a home. And, that, and that's what we want. We don't want it to be institutionalized. We want the youth to feel at home and come into a home environment. We have you know, the drop-in centres and employment education services, but there has not been an actual uh, safe haven shelter yet. These grants are also helping provide more longer-term housing. That's our little piece of the puzzle, is finding those apartments, um, managing those networks with the property owners and the property managers to make sure that once those youth move in, that everything, everything can be as smooth as possible. Grant money will be turned into hard cash to secure apartments. It's around the security deposits to be able to help get these young adults moved into their own place. Housing is one piece of the puzzle, Another critical piece is addressing the individual's mental health. With this funding, community-based organizations will be able to expand their mental health services and bring additional clinicians and case managers on to provide ongoing support. We do have over 800 young people coming here on an annual basis, but we don't have enough resources to have case management for all of them. Case management really is like the secret sauce to working with the youth. They help the youth um, come up with their goals, achieve their goals, work towards their goals. Setting goals is one of those important life skills so many of these homeless youth are never taught. They're forced at a young age to focus on simply survival. Uh, we provide two warm meals a day, breakfast and lunch. We have access to our full pantry, brand new kitchen. They can take groceries with them for the whole seven days. Hygiene packs to stock them with them for all the products they need for the whole month. We have access to an on-site shower, laundry facility. That's why taking care of those basic needs first is essential to not only getting them off the streets, but also freeing up space so they can think about and plan for a future. It means so much to me because without this, I honestly don't know where I would have been today. If you're homeless, you got nowhere to go, no, no, no family to support you, this is the spot right here. This is the spot right here to, 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 to uh, to make those dreams a reality. These grants were part of the $1 billion in grant funds being distributed by the Cal OES Grants Management Division, designed to improve and enhance local and regional agencies' capabilities. 
For more information on the Homeless Youth Grants and the state's wider efforts to protect vulnerable Californians, go to www.caloes.ca.gov and follow us on social media.